Not surprisingly, defenseman P.K. Subban has become a flashpoint in the series between the Canadians and the Ottawa Senators. Subban slashed Mark Stone in the second period of uh, game one on Wednesday night. He was given a five-minute uh, major penalty and a game misconduct. There was some uh, feeling that he might be suspended by the league, but the league said today there will be no suspension, nor did the league take any action against Dave Cameron, who seemed to be throwing some threats in the way of the Canadians. Subban discussed the incident after practice on uh, Thursday morning, and he denied a suggestion from Ottawa Senators General Manager Brian Murray that he had directed a couple of threats toward uh, Stone before he slashed him. When were you out of the building last night? We arrived and you were long gone? Yeah, well, I mean, after there was no point in me being there. I don't think they wanted me to do media after the game. Plus, with a big win like that, I think, you know, I was a little bit upset this morning. I mean, all the focus and hearing my name a lot when you should be hearing more about, you know, Mitchie and Flinner and Prusty, the way that line played and the way our decor stepped up when uh, I went, you know, when I had to leave the game halfway through the second. I mean, uh, it's unfortunate that the focus has to be on on, on me. I mean, I, I think it should be more on... On, on those guys and the way they played and the way my the, our team came together and, and pulled out a big win yesterday. The Senator's Ryan general Murray manager said, said that uh, said that you sorry. were um, uh, you threatened Stone last night before the slash. You want to comment on that? No, I mean I mean listen, this is playoff hockey. I I compete hard every game. Um, I've never uh, threatened anybody out there. I don't think I would. I mean, first of all, I'm not really the toughest guy <laughs> without my gloves on. I'm not really going out there looking for fights or anything like that, but. Uh, I just try to play the game hard between whistles. I mean, the unfortunate thing about yesterday is that we, as a team, talked about discipline, and uh, I took a penalty yesterday. And you know, as an assistant captain, and leader on this team, I have to set a better example than that. And um, that's probably you know the most unfortunate thing for me yesterday is you know I kind of felt like I left my teammates let let my teammates down when I took that penalty. What, what precipitated the slash? Yeah. Okay. What, what precipitated that? N n nothing really. I mean. Uh, to be honest with you, I know that there's been a lot of contact with Kerry. I mean, um, the later part of the season, and especially in that game, and uh, just playing in front of the Netherlands penalty kill. I mean, I don't want to take a penalty there. We're already down a man. I just, I just tried to let him know, and you know, I didn't, I didn't even look to see where I was going to slash him. I just kind of came down on him, and I, I tried to play hard in front of that. Um, obviously, it's something that I can't do. I don't want to take that penalty. But as far as like, you know, targeting anybody, I'm not out there doing that. I mean. If anything, I feel like a lot of times I'm the target, you know, not not targeting guys. So, um, you know, I'm just uh, it's just a, a tough play for me. Stone, Stone, Stone said said you saw that Stone came back into the game. Um, obviously, like it's it's frustrating, you know, when you get kicked out of the game. But, you know, if I was to make a comment on the officiating, I mean, the ref made the right call. I and mean, when you see a player down on the ice rolling around like that, um, there's one call to be made, and he. He made the right call. I mean, if I was in that position, I'd probably do the same. But it is frustrating when you see a player finish the game and, you know, is involved in the, throughout the game and even at the end there in, in the scrum. It's, it's tough. I mean, but listen, I, I paid the price for taking that penalty, and that's what happens, you know. I mean, the right decisions were made on the ice. Obviously, I don't want to be out for five minutes, and I don't want to be out of the game. But... Um, when a player is um, hurt like that on the ice, that's what happens. So don't say you fractured on that. I, I listen. I'm not a doctor. I, I can't. Uh, I can't comment on injuries or start thinking about, you know, what's what's going on with players. I'm just going to focus on on playing the game. Don't say you targeted him twice uh, off of faceoffs before that slash. Is that correct? No. I mean, uh, I play tough against everybody out there, so. I don't ever remember targeting him or saying anything like that to him. Was the penalty worthwhile given that he's likely done for the series this uh, I don't think any penalty is worthwhile. I mean, they scored two short-handed goals. I mean, I don't think I want to see that happen. Um, you know, but like I said, I have to be more disciplined than that. You know, and for me, I we talked about it before the series about being disciplined and that's probably like the last thing I want to do in a game like that. Are you, Are you a target now to get a suspension? I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, as far as I know, I'm, I haven't been suspended, so i um, just going to get ready for tomorrow. Did you, Are you surprised? If there was no suspension that he wanted his players to go after your star players and just take a five-minute. What is your reaction to that? Well, Dave Cameron, first of all, is a good friend of mine. Um, you know, Dave, uh, I know he knows my old coach, George Burgett, very well. And um, I, so when I saw him in California, we had a nice chat and wished him the best. And 
Uh, maybe I wished them too much good luck when they ended up coming in the playoffs, but I have nothing but respect for Dave. And uh, But he's got to do what he has to do for his team, and i got to do the same for mine. Are you afraid about retribution against him? It's playoff hockey. I'm just, I'm just getting ready to play the game. Are, are you going to be more of a target now? I mean, you say that you are a target at the best of times, but I mean, playoff hockey and in light of what happened last night, do you feel like that, that they might be, uh, you know, circling your name and number even more so? My, my, my focus is on my team. I, I, can't, I can't focus on what they're going to do or what their game plan is. My focus is to try to lead by example here, and the first thing is to be more disciplined starting next game and continue to lead by example by my play on the ice. That's it. That's all. If the ref made the right call, why did you react the way you did? Uh, well, obviously, there's a lot of emotions in the game. I'm frustrated. I mean, uh, you know, even after I slashed him, I was pretty upset that uh, when he went down. I mean, it's part of the game. It's emotional. I mean, I know I've been in the situation where I'm sure many times this year where I've been slashed or cross-checked or things have happened and, um, you know, you want to see a call made. But um, in this case, I, I, it's in a playoff game. You know, there's tons of emotions involved. and. Um, you know, I was frustrated at the time. PK, was your reaction in the tunnel when Stone came back? Was that related to his coming back, or was that about something else? Well, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let you guys decide that. I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm not an expert on injuries or on officiating. I'm, I can't comment on that stuff. The officials do a good job. I'm gonna let them do their job. My job is to help my team win hockey games. I'm gonna focus on that. I'll let you guys talk about what you think is is happening, what you think is truthful, what's not true. I mean, that's for you guys to do. I just I just gonna get ready for the next game. PK said it was a baseball swing. What's your own point of view on that slash? I mean, listen, I've been slashed a lot harder than that, and I've probably seen many slashes harder than that. I don't think that it was, um, you know, that hard of a slash. I mean, uh, first of all, I didn't even really look at where I was putting my stick. Um, but at the same token, it's like the ref standing there, so it's not a smart play. You know, whether, uh, no matter what you do, it's really, I can look at everybody else, I can, I can point fingers, but it's on me. I mean, I, I made the decision to slash him there, so, you know, I got the penalty, I hurt my team. Um, I'm happy that the guys rallied. The story should be about the guys coming together and the great play from that line. I mean... Um, you know, Flinner with three points and Mitchie the way he played and Prusty and the way we competed. I mean, that should be a story. Um, shouldn't be about me, but here we are. <laughs> Did you watch all of the third period last night? Yeah, I watched the whole game. I watched the whole game and I stayed. I stayed till the end of the game to congratulate my teammates when they came in. Um, unusual feeling. I mean, you know, being out of the game. I'm not used to that, obviously, and being in that situation. Um, but I'm just happy we got the win. As far as the intent, there's there's no intent to hurt anybody there. I mean, I'm not, I've never done that in my career. You know, um, that's something that my family doesn't condone, this organization doesn't condone, and um, I'm not out there to do that. I mean, I think I'm uh, just fine when I just play the game. Did the league contact you? No, no, I haven't spoken to anybody at the league. Okay, have you reached Shane and what Cameron said you expected the referees to keep?